Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your forecast horoscope for your monthly. This is going to be for February. This is going to cover love and wealth. And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so we're going to be talking about love, then wealth. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. I was going to have my Cancer's Romantic Love Life for the month of February. Give me nine cards for the Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for their career and finance for the month of February. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. Two. Oh, I, I just got a song that popped into my head, Cancer. Um, God, what's the name of this song? Do I like you? Da -na 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 -na, da -na 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 -na. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Put my makeup on. Blah, 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 blah. I can't remember the, the exact words of this song, but it just popped in there. But if any of you guys know what the name of this song is or have the lyrics to the song, if you want to post it in the comments below, I will pin your comment. But it's like, do you like you? Da -na 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 -na, da -na 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 -na, something like that. Okay, so let's just move into the reading. I can't sing, guys. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so someone is really feeling like they're overwhelmed, they're burdened, and they have a lot of responsibility, which is leaving them stuck and stagnant. And we see there's about to be a very happy, unconditional love coming in here with the Ten of Cups energy, a very more or less the unconditional happiness coming in. Uh, so because tens always talk about something that is about to be completed, something that's about to be accomplished, okay, something that's coming to an end. So, and that's why you're going to about, you're about to have some kind of happy energy here. Um, so for this, this is going to be for the beginning of February, okay, in the middle of February, end of February. All right, so, I get the sense that someone is having a lot of self-doubt. They feel like their hands are tied and um, like they're trapped in their thoughts. Like they keep going around in their mind. They keep re-overanalyzing thoughts and feelings and all those kinds of things. And then you gain some kind of knowledge. There's some kind of foundation that's being built here. And it's almost like, um, it's almost like a fresh start, new opportunity. And it's almost like, for, for some reason, this picture reminds me of a video game when um, you, can, you can reference different, different characters, that's for sure, uh, that are going after coins. But um, this, this, uh, this, this education, this, this exciting new understanding is actually helping you come out of a situation where you felt, you felt like it was like hopeless to a certain extent. I also see snow there. So something to do with the winter time or something to do with snowfall or something to do with someone who got the sense that they were left out in the cold somehow. That's what I get the sense of. But something is going to allow you, and now I hear fireworks. Fireworks means something exciting is going to happen. There's going to be something that's going to allow you to get out of this situation and you're going to be able to follow this into a solid foundation. And Yes, and then we see the Tower card right below it, which talks about a powerful change, a sudden shocking change. Now, it's, then this powerful change happens, almost like those fireworks, something sudden and shocking, surprising, right? But this is exciting, actually, because you're building something here. You're moving towards a solid foundation in your situation. Now, this could be a work-related situation for some of you guys, or you have three solid offers opportunities here coming in with the three of pentacles energy but we gotta get some more clarity to see this is a new deck for me actually this is a very nice deck i would say this looks like it's self-published deck so if you guys do like this deck i this is not sponsored at all but obviously i self-published my own deck so i can understand what that's like <laughs> um so What's going to happen for my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Cancer's Career and Finance 
for the month of February. Show the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see that there is some kind of good news. We see that there is this alone time with someone and this conversation that takes place. Now, this is what the breakthrough is. So the breakthrough is this conversation that you have with this person, okay, or multiple people because this card can represent more than one person, okay? So we see that there is this news, messages, someone pays someone a visit. There's this intimate time, alone time spent together. Now this is a small group of people, a meeting, okay, or a very private alone time with someone. And then we see there's a shock and surprise about people, okay, people. So there's this good news and this private time spent with somebody and then the shock and surprise about people. So that's interesting. Let's go further. It's gonna have my cancers remain. Love Life for February. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, so we got money and finances involved with this situation. That's why someone's like trapped in their thoughts, feel like they're stuck, but there's an obsessive energy, strong attachment here. And this person really wants to get some kind of clarity, some kind of breakthrough. And I get the sense that you weren't really certain about the whole situation. Maybe you didn't feel like you knew where you stood with this person, but then you get this shocking revelation about this person actually has strong um, desires towards you and they want some kind of clarity from you. So here we go. Middle of the month, the door opens and the timing is right. There is a lucky twist of fate here, okay? And we see something you have been waiting for with the Three of Wands energy. And we see somebody who is very giving to the connection. Six of Pentacles. There is more fireworks going off. Oh my God, lots to celebrate. And what's the next card but the Tower card energy? Big shock and surprise about desires and a surprise. <laughs> wow. As that other reader says all the time, you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> There's the shock and surprise again. Big shock and surprise. We see delays and challenges. We see a nurturing, supportive energy. Someone gives some kind of advice. Okay, going further, and let's get more clarity around this as well. What's that? My Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Cancer's Career and Finance for the month of February. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So we see there's this very fun energy with someone and a lot of emotions here. And it looks like a power move is being made. There's been this patient energy and someone's like, I'm not giving up on you because I want to surrender to my emotions here because I have love for you. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords is like, I'm defeated, I'm restless. I want to win this. Are you single and available to pursue? Um, or I want to help you. We see this happiness towards the happy energy. There is some possibilities that are opening up for you guys. And we see clarity and answers. So you're getting some clarity and answers. And isn't it interesting that this card looks like there's this big celebration going on in this person's head? Okay. Newfound clarity with the main person. When something was hidden or deceptive, there's this big change happening. Mm -hmm. Six of Swords tells me big, massive changes. Six of Swords is the, the card of change because it's saying I'm overcoming barriers, obstacles, all right? Healing, recovery, and love. Someone is single and available to pursue. They want to be helpful, be of service because there's strong chemistry and passion. Mm -hmm. And we see there's a relationship. Okay, so there's someone that you have had a lot of fun with there's been like, you know, a lot of chemistry with this person. There has been this very cautious defensive energy. Um, there was concerned about the potential and someone really gets very emotional here and they decide I'm not gonna give up on this. And then there's this big, massive change that happens because someone makes this power move, personal power, to surrender to their emotions because of a relationship. They want a relationship. Okay, let's go further. Okay, so 
There is something to do with money and finance involved with this situation and a big shock and surprise about this happy energy. So you're shocked and surprised about the happiness about this. There's strong desires and obsessive, obsessive energy here um, because there were some delays and someone wasn't being completely honest. And it looks like this person's like, I want clarity. I want to know where I stand with you. And there's this very nurturing, supportive energy here or someone who helps out because this can be a person who gives advice. There is an awareness that there is a very strong chemistry and attachment between you and this person by the end of the month here. Going to the bottom of the deck, knowledge of a relationship and romantic feelings. All of a sudden, hopeful energy some sense of apology, single and available to pursue wise decision because of love and the timing is right. News of this intimate time together and a conversation which is shocking and surprising about someone's desire. There's a surprise. I get this sense also because somebody is helping with the connection because it's saying this can be seen as someone who is helping the main person, and then we saw also someone who's helping. Like you're finding out about this person's desires, and it's a bit of surprise to you. It's a little bit of shock and surprise to you. And this can represent people. Because um, it looks like uh, the, the other person may have been trapped in their thoughts. They may have felt like their hands were tied here around the situation. Yeah, because the, the, the opportunity is basically opening up. The door opens up for you. And it's a, 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 a twist of fate here which is actually lucky for you guys because it's like you find out something you've been waiting for and someone's giving you uh, clarity because there was a defeated energy. Yep. We see giving to defeated energy, clarity. You get clarity here and it helps you to overcome some kind of barriers or restrictions or boundaries because you can see this is the, the person who helps you know, or does something for someone, and we see main person and someone else who helps or does somebody. Or you can see it's single and available to pursue, and we see main person. Now, you guys may have two choices or three choices here, but there's one particular person here that really is really strongly attached with the devil card energy. If it's not just one person, if it's more than one person. If we go down further here. My hands are tied. I'm trapped in the situation. Now the timing is right and the door has opened. I'm defeated here, but I'm, I'm building some kind of solid foundation. It's something you've been waiting for to get some kind of clarity. You're shocked and surprised about this person who's giving to uh, this energy towards change. So it's like want to help you out. They want to give to you. They want to do stuff for you. Okay. Or uh, they want things to come into balance. Because the ending two cards, you see that there's two people in that card. And uh, it's like they're, they're moving across the river here or the ocean to get to the other side. And they're battling it out, but they're overcoming those boundaries, those restrictions, because they're just going for, further here. And they overcome some kind of difficult situation because you can see the person's looking back at, like, oh, wow, I can't believe what happened here. And now we're finally going somewhere. We're having some kind of movement here. If we look at the, the numbers of this, eights talk about effort and work, timing is right, five talks about changes, three talks about more than one choice or option, and we see an opportunity, shock and surprise, six is healing, recovery, and love. Some shock and surprise about some healing, recovery, and love. Something is coming into balance. And let me get some clarity as far as your advice goes on what to do about this situation. Okay, what should Cancer do about the romantic love life for February? Show me what you see. Show me the cards I need. Two, see. So give yourself some time to think about things. Follow your heart and trust in it. You know what direction to go. Take a pause. You're on the right path. Clear your energy. You will overcome the obstacles here and have success in your romantic love life. Wow, okay. So obviously there's gonna be some big changes. We got the tower card energy and there's definitely something to celebrate here. The timing is right, okay? Where the timing wasn't right before, now the timing is right with you in this person. 
for some of you may have, but there may be more than one person involved with this. It may just be people that are trying to help out with the situation as well because it looked like two other people there besides the main person. So let's move into your career and finance here. Okay. So when it comes to your career and finance, we got the Three of Swords energy, we have the Moon card energy, we have the Page of Cups. We have the Lover's card, we have the Seven of Cups, the Chariot, the Magician, and the Ten of Swords. All right. So it looks like you start off with a little bit of a difficulty here with the Three of Swords energy, okay? Then it looks like you do a lot of thinking and contemplating here. And you decide to take charge of everything with the uh, cherry card energy, with the willpower card. So you charge ahead. And we see what's the clarity on this. Because cherry talks about a victory. Okay. So it looks to me like at first you start out with some difficulty, right? Some sense of heartache here. And we see there's people involved with this. And you're trying to have a sigh of relief around the situation. So you do some planning and thinking about it. We see this person here. There's a person involved, okay? Uh, that could give some kind of support or advice. And we see that gives you the ability to charge ahead. There, uh, and then we go further here. Yeah, we see people. Something comes to light, and you'll have to take an action. So then we see that there's some confusion here because of something to do with you've dealt with before. We see reunions or something to do with someone before from the past or something pertaining to the past coming up, which causes some kind of distraction. We see that there's this partnership, okay, or this choice you have to make around a commitment. You're trying to be hopeful about the situation. The magician tells me that you have all the tools that you need. You're manifesting what you want here and that there is a lot, of, a lot of money here. But you are very cautious about it. Going further on this, it shows me that you will receive some kind of good news by the end of the month. And we see that there looks like there's going to be a person that's going to help you. Okay. Yeah, someone that you've dealt with before because it says hello again. It's going to help you with a recovery. And we see then you're going to have some choices and options. And this card talks about a convention, a group of people, a meeting, okay, taking place. And you're like, wow, this is really a part of my destiny. This is, I feel like I'm going on the, I'm on the right path here. And uh, you're like, wow, I finally am ending a tough cycle here. And there's loyalty and devotion here. And you're getting enlightened around the situation, you're getting information here. Okay, so let's bring it all together. So there's people involved or some kind of meeting, conference, networking, some distractions that happen, but then you uh, were able to talk to somebody that you had talked to before. And something comes to light, which brings a lot of hope to your destiny, to where you're supposed to be going. You feel like you're going in the right direction. You're taking an action, but you're a little bit cautious about this, and you do get some information that you needed. Okay, so there's a joyful energy around this reunion with this person who is really helpful. It could be some kind of partnership, accountant, lawyer, okay? Someone is giving you some kind of help or support. Um, there's a sigh of relief in this commitment. We see there's this big meeting, this conference here, and we see a person, an individual here. And we see a lot of money here, and loyalty and devotion happens here. A lot of money offered, getting a lot of money, but definitely the money card shows a lot of money. Okay, so there's some issues here because there's some confusion, but then you get some good news that you've been thinking about, some plans, thoughts about a partnership or a choice you have to make. You're a little bit confused at first about what to do, but then you decide, you know what? I am going to just move things ahead. I'm going to drive them forward, and you are able to manifest what you want here and end a tough cycle with the Ten of Swords energy. Let's get some advice for you guys. Okay. Can I have some advice for cancers when it comes to your career and finance for the highest best good for the best 
So I'll come for them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So Spirit is saying, expect the unexpected here. Yep. Timing is right, though. Something you've been praying for. Keep on uh, focused on your vision of what you want for the future. It's going to be a lot to be grateful for. You're not going to fail. Take a pause. Have the bigger perspective here and accept the situation. Okay. So there was something that's going to happen where you're going to feel like it's a failure. And so spirit is like, no, this is a blessing in disguise. The way this is going to go down. Um, take a pause and look at the bigger perspective here. Listen to your intuition. There's an acceptance about this situation. Listen to your intuition. Something will come to light. Don't worry. You're going to be able to preserve this situation and you have the freedom of choice here to bring things into balance. Follow your dreams and let go of this situation and take the first steps. Don't get frustrated. Stay strong. And be patient. So I get the sense that it's not going to come together the way you expect it to come together. Obviously, because people are involved, it's going to cause a sense of frustration around the situation. But stay patient. You will gain the tools that you need to be able to end this tough cycle by the end of the month. So don't get frustrated around it. It, it just it's not going to come together the way that you expect it to. OK, so. All right, my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. If you feel comfortable sharing your personal situation in the comments below, if you want to claim this reading, this reading resonates with you, let me know in the comments below. I do read my comments, guys. I love hearing from you guys. So I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.